Oh my, this is like a huge building. Huge thing. So gunners are going into position. We now have 18 gunners shooting at them. Hopefully we'll have enough firepower to deal with the big one. So first medium one is down. Second medium one is down. Third one is down. I think we have enough firepower to deal with it. So this row and that row, we are done with the... Hey there, Shafel here. Today we're checking out Rise Against the Invaders. And then we are going to choose a winter terrain, settlement name, alien resistance, and settlement motto, alien <laughs> pew pew pew. Okay, this is Nana, our advisor. A handful of workers signed up for the settlement, but they are currently idle. So let's assign them to get there. the woods nearby. We're gonna need a lot of it. So we click the tree and max them out, and all the workers get assigned. And then so we're gonna go hungry, and then we have mouths for feet. So let's give our idle workers the build job. And then by that, she wants us to build a greenhouse. So we come to the food, choose a greenhouse, and then there is our greenhouse. So greenhouse is constructed, we have to assign workers here, gonna assign all three of these guys. Now right now as we can see, settlement population is 12, where settlement capacity is 0. That means we probably have to build a house, considering each shelter house is 5 people, we are going to need at least 3 to get a new population. So going to do that. And then it seems that we need something called a food stall in order to cook food and feed workers. I'm gonna put the food stall right over here. So first house is constructed. Now we should try to build a second house. Just gonna queue our third house. So after this building, maybe we should be able to bring in new residents. So house is constructed. Now we are at positive settlement population to capacity ratio. Kiwayo joined the settlement. So okay, now we're starting to get more people. A warlord was spotted moving through the sector. What warlord? I don't see anything. Oh, what the? <laughs> I totally didn't see this coming. So it's like a UFO with like glittering sparklings on the ship is moving. And there are little guys following him. Uh-oh. Are they like really gonna attack like this early in the game? No, 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 no. They're just passing by. So, okay. Whew. So we need to make sure that we will have some kind of a military defense. So gun turret looks like a basic military building and then it requires ores. So we need to focus on securing enough resources to build a mine. And mine requires 5 raw foods and 10 woods. Why does it require raw food to build a mine? Interesting. So good thing that we built another greenhouse because we're gonna need raw food to build a number of stuff. Now let's see, what can we build out of wood? Scavenge cam sends scavenger parties for supplies. Hmm, this looks like an interesting building. I'm going to place it over here. Now let's see, we can send scavenge party to get raw food, wood, or an herbs. Hmm, why don't we dispatch our first scavenger party? And there they're going in a truck. Then now we're starting to have some raw food surplus. That's good. Since we have that, we're gonna connect the roads like this. And then build a mine over here. Your scavenge party radios in. One survivor found and oh my. It's a decent amount of resources. Why don't we get these and come back. And then are they back? Yeah. So we can send another scavenge party. We're gonna do endless runs of them. And then so mine is up. We can place like three workers there. Now we have surplus of wood and this upgrade in the food stall which increases food cook speed by 15% costs only 5 wood. So I'm gonna upgrade this one. Begin research. Scavenger party radios in and then yeah. I'm gonna take this and raw food. We're not producing enough cooked foods. Another food stall I'm assuming. So I'm gonna build a second one right next to the first one. And that will probably require us to build another greenhouse to support the food need of the food cell. Gotta send them out again. Oh, this will cost you two cooked foods, I see, because they need to eat while they're out there. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> makes total sense. Very nice little details. Now that we have 23 ores available, going to build the first gun turret down here. Right below where the command center is. Gun turret constructed, and it takes one person to operate it. We're just gonna fill this place when the attack begins. Just gonna leave that for now. And then we can see that there's a low storage warning. I guess we can start with the small storage because it doesn't require any resources. Why don't I place it right below the turret? Storage needs to be protected by the turret. Gonna place another turret over here. I don't know how many turrets it will take to stop the attack. So I'm just gonna build as many as possible. And then each greenhouse has an upgrade which increases food yield by 20% if we pay 5 lumbers. Considering we have enough lumbers, we can do that for all the greenhouses. And there we go, we can see over here that there are four automated sprinklers upgraded. 
Gokon, we've tolerated your ilk in this sector for far too long. I can see you have six glowy eyes. Let's go. So, okay, here are the attacks. So we go to the jobs and assign them to the gunner. Oh, we only have one gunner? This one is still being built. Oh no, that's not good. I mean, we have one gunner that's fighting, but I don't think that'll be enough. Oh no, we have a big guy too. This gunner building is so weak. Oh no, it went down. We can see the battle timer over here. We just need to endure it a little bit before they pass. And we are gonna take some damage, but as long as the buildings are fine, I don't care. Oh no, our command center. Our command center is burning. Battle report, defeat. 21 of our people are injured. If we go to the people, oh my god, we can see bunch of them are injured. We have to build a clinic, which requires stones. And in order to build a turret, it also requires stones. So stone is very important resource at this phase. And there is an upgrade for increasing ore extraction speed by 20% if we pay 5 lumbers. Why don't we get that? But first we should build a clinic to heal the injured ones. So why don't I build a clinic over here. Clinic is up, we are going to assign a doctor or nurse. Now that we have enough resources, why don't we throw a mine? And we can start installing gun turrets down here. Gonna fill this entire row and then maybe somewhere else. Population is reaching its capacity, so another house down here. And then I feel like we're definitely gonna need another clinic considering the number of people that are injured. So build a clinic here. And then it takes an herb to create a medicine which cures the sick people. And then we're at zero. So I should build an herb farm which costs 15 wood. And gonna throw it below this greenhouse. Threat increased to medium which means that we should focus on building a gun turret. And whoa, what's this guy? Wait, it's taking our resources? Come here you. Why don't we put gunners into position? So we can see these two guys going into the gun turret and now they're firing. It's gonna take forever to shoot this guy. Wait, is he just like peacing out? <laughs> he took like some of our resources and he's peacing out. That's annoying. Now let's see, in order to build advanced military buildings, we need to research like a lumber mill and I don't know what this is and make a steel. So first place to start would be building a lumber mill and it requires 25 stones. So let's increase the number of workers in the mine. And our cooked food production speed seems to be low. So going to install another stall over here. And then we have something called a tree farm which harvests larger amounts of wood every few days. Considering we just built a lumber mill, we might need more tree input. It's a pretty big building. Maybe like over here by the mine? Yeah. Okay, now it's day 10 and then we can elect a policy. I feel like farmer policy has more plus to us. I'm gonna get that. Confirm. Because like, we will need to start building farms. We actually need to prepare for the next attack. And then for now, the gunner is the only means to defend ourselves. So we're gonna go with that. Vastron, children of Royale. Okay, now we're at war. So we now have... 12 gunners ready, so we're gonna place all idle workers into the gunner. Gonna take guys out of the miners and then place them to the gunner. And then look at that, I mean, we have 12 gunners attacking the swarm of these like robots. Gunners are not doing decent damage, but we have the numbers. We have 12 gunners ready and just like shooting them all down. And look at that, just like that, we won the battle. Better report victory, 15% settlement moral bonus. Then we get these resources, and then only 12 people got injured compared to 21 last time. So we take back the gunners, and there's like a firework going on in the command center celebrating our victory. And then hopefully that will bring more people into our settlement, because like that kind of proved that our settlement is safe. And then you know what? I didn't know our command center's HP was so low. So in order to repair, we need a repair building, which costs 20 lumbers. We have five workers working on there. And why don't we actually throw an upgrade to increase the production. And then maybe it's time to balance the raw food cooked food ratio again. Because settlement population is 50, so we need like 50 foods ready when they're running in to get their food. We have something called a food farm, which costs 7 stones going to mainly use this area as a farm field and then now that we have enough resources to build a repair shop gonna install that i guess right next to the clinic for now so thanks to these farm food situation is getting better so it's dinner time and then we have 49 foods available for 53 majority of them are gonna get to eat Except for these couple of guys that are miserable. Repair shop constructed, we can assign two people. Then now that we have enough stones, we can probably take the guys out of the mine, like couple of them, and then assign them to the lumber mill. 
And with the spare stones, we can do the research on the food farm, increasing harvest by 10%. And then we finally have enough materials to repair our main building. So yeah, there we go, to the full HP. And then we finally have a raw food surplus, finally. With that, we can build a foundry right above the lumber mill that we have. Foundry constructed, I can probably assign like three of them. Threat increase to high, are they coming? Okay. So it's this little guy. I want to put like, what, four of them into the gunner. Maybe this time we'll be able to take this guy. Can you like stay just a little longer? I just want to see what happens if we kill this guy. We shall flay you, yeah you gun. So this guy just puffs. Nothing really happens. And then we are really short in trees. So maybe we should throw another tree farm. Right next to the first one. Shazil, Scar Prime. The High Council pays greatly for human skins. Okay. Place all of them into the gunner. Oh my, this is like a huge building. Huge thing. So gunners are going into position. We now have 18 gunners shooting at them. Hopefully we'll have enough firepower to deal with the big one. So first medium one is down. Second medium one is down. Third one is down. These little swarms wouldn't really care. Gun turrets. I think we have enough firepower to deal with it. So this row and that row, we are done with the victory of boost to morale. Very nicely done. Very nicely done. Good that we actually added another row. So 18 gunners, you guys can go back to your position. And then now I have to repair these one by one. So right now our raw foods exceeds the food production. We're going to place another food stall. And then, yeah, I was gonna say, tavern. I always like to build a tavern in any kind of game. Hopefully people will enjoy drinking a little bit. Look at that, it's time to eat dinner and then we have 75 foods, whereas we have a population of 65. Finally, finally fixed that food issue. So if we come here, and there we go, all of them are fed and healthy. Here's the fun part, we can build something called the airfield, which trains the squadron fighters. I'm gonna install the airfield over here, where we have an open field. And I'm assuming our workers are gonna turn into a squadron and then fight the aliens when they come back. So airfield is completed, we can train up to three squadrons. Wait, what the heck is this? What just happened? I don't know what just happened, but we we lost everything that we just did. Oh, uh, <laughs> maybe this is like the second campaign of the mode they were playing, and demo forgot to tell us. But okay, for now, <laughs> this is where I'm gonna stop. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in another video.